Hey guys, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. So today we are doing another transformation cut on my client here who came because she needed just some TLC. So as you saw, the crown or the front of her crown and also the front of her sides was um, very short. Some areas were thinning. Um, some, I, I don't want to use the term balding. Um, because she does actually show some life of the follicles. So the follicles are actually growing back. They're just not growing long. So we are doing a cut to accentuate that. So let me just go ahead and give a little disclaimer for those who like to say 18 different things. Like they are the stylist and they are the client. My client decided that she no longer wanted to be natural. We are doing a relaxer. Yes, she has a little bit of thinning in her crown and on her sides. Keep in mind that the only way to allow this hair to lay down is by relaxing it. Leaving her natural and trying to achieve this style and this look will not last. End disclaimer. Okay, so I've done the preliminary cut. So I've gone through and I'm just relaxing um, her sides and her back first because I do want those areas to be bone straight. I am using um, a firm fiber guard for this because I feel like it protects the hair the best when it comes into the relaxer process and it leaves the hair nice and silky. Now for her top, because we do want to leave a little bit of volume, um, I saved her crown for last, at which I didn't actually do the entire head. I just kind of touched her roots, almost like a texturizer, but I still made sure that her hairline and the perimeter, meaning the sides and the back, is laid. In order for this to work, where we are able to mask thinning areas, that kind of thing, those areas do need to lay as flat as possible, but keep in mind this is a chemical surface, so you need to do your due diligence in protecting your client's scalp. So she did get based before we did this process. I just didn't show it on camera. Now, with this actual service, this is what we call a transformation cut or a customized corrective cut. It has so many different names. So what I did at the beginning was a preliminary cut. Now I'm going through and I'm doing the second preliminary cut. And the reason why I say second preliminary cut is because her hair is wet and we are doing a very customized style. So I am not going to do all of the work right now. I'm just going to really set a good foundation. That way, when it's time for her style, I can fine tune it and add a lot of a little, a lot of it. Add a little detail to the actual cut because everything is dry and molded. So right now, I'm literally just giving her her second portion of the cut. Now, everybody does this different. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Everyone's technique is different. This is just the way that I chose to do it for my client. So, when it comes to the front hairline, I didn't cut too much off because I wanted to see how her hair laid when it was actually dry. So, this is something where you don't want to cut too much too soon. This is why I call it the second preliminary cut because you are basically working with what she has to mask her trouble areas as best as possible. Not all trouble areas can be masked. Not all hair damage or um, thinning can be corrected. So I literally am customizing and, and going with the flow the entire cut. Um, it, it is That's why we call it custom, a custom transformation cut, because it would never be the same. Once again, this is like a snowflake. Everyone has a different situation. Everyone has thinning and balding in different places that might not be the same as the previous person. So it's never a one, two, three. This is really being done as we go because you're you're basically creating a work of art. And when you have clients who are thinning and balding, especially in areas like the crown and the front, those areas have they take time. You have to really take your time. So what I what you see here now, guys, is she is actually getting a touch up color. Now, with that being said, I'm using an ammonia free MEA free color. She did get a relaxer today. But like I said, this is an oil-based ammonia and MEA-free color that I am using on her. Um, it only sits on for about 20 minutes, and we are doing a dark brown. So because it looks white, it, I'm just telling you it's a dark brown. So now you guys see the finished result of the color. 
and her relaxer and her preliminary cut. So we didn't want to make her um, jet black, but we did want to darken because she has a lot, like a lot of grays and stuff. So that was mainly the reason why we did it. And secondly, you know, sometimes darker colors can give the appearance of fullness. It gives the appearance of healthy um, in regards to the hair. So that darker color is really used to accentuate what she already has. Now, as you guys know, I always say in my videos, make sure that when you are molding your client, you are laying your foundation exactly how you plan on styling it. Don't make this portion of the process difficult, especially for a client who is dealing with a transformation, thinning, balding, shedding, whatever the case may be, corrective cut, um, transformation cut. You want to make sure that you are molding the hair in the direction of what you're going to style. So this is where I'm making sure that I have enough hair. Well, I already know that I have enough hair to cover certain areas. I'm making sure that I mold it well enough that those areas are definitely covered. And as you can see, they are. Now, the front of her hairline in regards to the crown is severely um, thin. Um, it does have some signs of, of hair growth there or life. So that is a good thing. So what we're going to do is use our wrap foam as I just did. And then we are just going to mold her like we did. And then I'm wrapping her tight, but not too tight with my wrap paper for her to go into the dryer for about 30 to 45 minutes. Now, with any type of transformation cut, guys, you need to make sure that the hair dries thoroughly. You don't want to have to do any type of blow drying to the sides or the back. Now, here I'm just using my half-inch iron just to smooth out the little crimps from when the client's under the dryer. Um, sometimes they might bend their head, they might move their head around and create a crease. So in order for you to be able to really see your cut, this is the reason why I kind of just go through and straighten out any areas that were too crimpy so that I can actually finish out her cut and finish out her style. So I did most of the cut off camera. It wasn't by choice. <laughs> I thought the camera was on and it wasn't. So you guys got to catch the basically the end factor. But you already kind of know... Um, the cutting in regards to what I was doing because I had actually done most of the cut in the second preliminary cut. So this I'm just going through and just adding some detail. Um, I am making sure because I have not, I don't really have much hair in the front to work with in regards to the front of her crown. You don't want to cut too much too soon. It's always best to just kind of leave it and just work your way through it because she has an area where she is missing some hair. So I don't want to alleviate um, being able to cover that area. So that's why I said keep your cut to a minimum. Now with her hairline, I get this question a lot about our Elite Mask It, which is what you see me using. I am literally just filling in her hairline with our Elite Mask It to try to give that um, shadow, that cast of um, keratin fibers to kind of fill the area. So we did do that, and then I used a little bit of Sebastian Schaefer to set it. The Elite Mask It is available on my site at Elite Hair Care USA. Dot com. So what I'm doing now is just giving her a very slight bump. I'm not really curling her on the sides and the back because I just want it to lay almost flat, but it still needs to have a little bit of shape to it. So that's why I'm doing a slight bump and then combing it out. Now for the front of her face, I am curling. I'm going towards her face on her right side on purpose so i like to expose the ear in um my transformation styles if i'm doing it um because you want to give the illusion that there's nothing wrong with the head you want to give the illusion that the hair is severely healthy and that your client actually came to the salon you never want your client to leave like they just left home Now, I am using our Elite Max Styler to do her um, longer area. And then a question came up as to how she would take care of the longer area at home. So I always tell people that pin curling your hair does not hurt. If you do two or three pin curls with this style and you just lay them flat and go to bed, you will still have a shape the next day. And that's really all that matters. So you don't want to go through and you're trying to flat iron your hair every single day pin curl that area and you'll see how long 
that area last in regards to um, longevity of the style because it gets used to what you're doing. Now, for her front there, if you notice, it is a lot darker. Um, you don't really see a lot of scalp. Yes, it's short, but you don't see a lot of scalp. So that's the reason why I really like the Elite Mask it, because the Elite Mask it allows me to build on it and not automatically make it look like um, I sprayed that spray paint stuff on her hair. So we're almost done with the actual um, flat ironing. I don't want to say curling. But we're almost done with the flat ironing. Now, she does have a little bit of Sebastian Shaper Plus on her hair, which is a very light holding spray because you do still want to seal the external layer of the cuticle. And then I'm going to use my rake and comb through her hair and style her. Now, I made sure that her cut was versatile enough that she could actually wear it on either side, regardless of what's going on with her. She can wear her hair on either side of her head if she chooses. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Now, guys, tell me if you like this transformation cut. If you are experiencing something like this, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think about her hair. She absolutely loved it. I can tell you that now. Um, she, she loved it because sometimes people think that there's no hope. And then they watch some of my videos, that kind of thing. And it just it makes me smile because my client is smiling and I was entrusted to handle something that was so delicate in the first place. So I thank each and every one of you for watching my videos and for all of your support. Please don't forget to thumbs up this video and comment down below what you thought based on what I had to work with. And if you can tell, like her hair looks like there's nothing wrong. It just looks like she did this by choice. And I'm really happy about that. And so was she. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so now by clicking the subscribe button. And don't forget to thumbs up this video.